In September 2017, Ghana began implementing a free senior high school education policy for students admitted into the various public senior high schools across the country. The policy, which exempts students from paying fees, saw an increased admission including girls' enrollment, which more than doubled. These increased admission also brought with it overstretched infrastructure and facilities at the various schools. The Hohwe EP Senior High School was not exempt from the challenges. The girls' dormitory is congested with little space for their belongings. Some of the girls have resorted to sleeping outside their rooms, posing a huge threat to their safety. After a hectic day in the classrooms, these second-year students of HEPS retire to their dormitory to face yet another uphill battle. We don't have enough space to sleep inside, so sometimes we go back inside and when it's in the night, we have to pack all these things to the down corridor and put our mattresses here and sleep on it. Sometimes, too, this place is not enough, so some have to move to the bare floors over here and put their mattresses down and sleep. Due to this, it's also affecting our learning and our education and our health also. Each student must have one bed, one mattress, but due to lack of space and lack of bed, to better be accommodated, the mattresses would have to be doubled to support the weight of the students. Unfortunately, some beds have started falling apart due to the impact. As a witness, the beds are not even good. They are not really good at there all. There is a saying so, that a student for everybody should have at least eight or seven hours rest. But until the two people pairing this bed, until it's very bad. We believe we can have enough rest. It's very, very bad. This sometimes even makes students, when they go to class, they sleep a lot while the teacher is teaching. Due to them not having comfortability when they come back to their various dormitories. We then ventured into the washrooms and were met with a strong stench emanating from the toilet. The poor drainage and the lack of flowing water has worsened the sanitary conditions of the place. As we ventured out, the students registered their hope for better living conditions soon. The good news is there is light at the end of the tunnel with a new project initiated by Kenneth Ghana and its partners Axid and SED to construct a more spacious 360 bed capacity girls dormitory for the school. The two-story girls dormitory would also be fitted with better and modern washroom facilities. Although it started not long, but I can see it going 